So I've been asked to talk about a particular topic, which is sort of unusual for a man to do, but I'm going to talk about the topic of sexual assault. Sexual assault is what most people are familiar with when you hear it on the news in terms of rape and other things. Certainly we're training our young girls in schools to avoid sexual assault. We're also teaching our young men what means no and what means no. But the reality is there are certain cultures and certain places where girls play a little bit of no before they give you a yes. And that is true for Japan. But that was my experience there. What I could also tell you is that there are women who like to play with men. They like to get them to do all kinds of things for them and then they pitch them. And those people are the as you know are users. But men still fall for it every day. The reality though that we have to talk about is what sexual assault can include. And sexual assault is making fun of someone in a way. And sexual assault is also trying to have power over someone. There's different forms of sexual assault, but let me explain to you. There is a sexual assault that is about sex, that is about gender, that is not fully intercourse, but it can be without someone's consent. So let's take you through the motions, not at all. Let's tell you what you can and cannot do to people. There are people in this world who are on a slippery sliding slope of gender. If you haven't figured that out yet as an adult, then you're fool. If you still think that you have rights to school someone in what is or isn't a man, this is where your immaturity stands. You're back stuck at age 12 or 13. You see, God makes a lot of people, he makes a lot of predilections, and he makes a lot of conditions. He also gives people their spirit, he gives them their soul, and he doesn't exactly always give them their body. Now I know this is going to be hard for the Christian right to hear, but the bottom line is you don't have one fucking right to talk to anyone about their body. Can I make that clear? Now we do sometimes try to give some people some loving counsel. The other day I was on the bus with a beautiful black girl, but she was having major acne problems. So I did give her a website very gently, and, and I tried to, but not be humanizer. I tried to be as gracious as I could to say, I understand that this is an awkward moment for me to say this to you, but you might want to look up the products on this site. Because God was basically pushing, saying, this product here, this international known product, this all natural product that will help that girl to feel better about herself when she's alone in the room and looking in the mirror. Now, that's not a form of sexual assault to bring something like that to attention. It is not an inappropriate descriptor to call someone fat because we have to have that term and help their work. That too is not a sexual assault. So am I being silly or stupid? No, I'm not. I'm just trying to get you engaged. But what is a sexual assault is when you cut someone's hair without their consent. What is a sexual assault is when you shave someone's beard without their permission or when they're asleep. What is inappropriate is taking someone out of their clothes to shave their body and their men's hair off their body. Let me tell you, motherfucking shitbag police officers, you will go to hell for what you've done to me and others. Do not fucking do that again. You are not my God and you may not touch me. In that way, it's inappropriate, it is sexual assault, and it is a form of harassment. It might be gender harassment, it might be sex harassment, but it definitely is inappropriate. At the same time, you have no right to take off some skivvies and give them a better cut or better trim or cleaner look down there. Don't you ever fucking do that. The Indianapolis Sheriff's Department did that to a man, and they should all be going to jail for that. It might be that most of the time you speak the truth. You have no right, you butch like that man, to shave someone's leg that you don't like. And you used your and abused your power in the jail cells doing that. At the same time, you have no right to take someone to taint someone's food, so you can take yourself a look. You don't have the right to play an audio sound so that you can give yourself some sort of touch to someone. We have to pay attention to the new technologies and the new sciences that are coming into America and coming into the regular population that allegedly help someone sleep. But at the same time, we also have to be very careful about what those things do for people like you and me when we don't ask for them in our food. 